Hey everyone, welcome. It's Aaron here, and this is Balance and Strength. So let's get started. The way we usually do with two dollars between our feet, that means they're about hip width apart, and we're going up on our toes and back on our heels. Up on the toes and back on the heels. Uh, I'll tell you now ahead of time that we are going to spend a good bit of time focusing on our strength and balance drills. So some of our warm-ups that we do today will be just a little bit shorter to make sure that we have time to go through all of those uh, fun things that I have planned for you today. All right, here we go, hands on the knees and doing knee circles. And reverse. Good, let's stand tall with your hands on your hips and we'll go into our hip circles. Making sure that we're actually moving those hips. North, east, south, west, and reverse. We should be feeling that weight shift in our feet. Good, all right, we're standing tall. Taking this left hand and going straight down the left leg. Keeping equal weight in both feet. Standing tall and we reach up and over. We're trying to open up our rib cage here on both sides. Controlling that weight evenly in both feet. Breathing easy. Good, let's do two more on each side. I mean, two more on this side. And one more here. Good, and do the same on the other side. Going straight down the right leg, feel that hip and the side of your torso open. Stand tall, reach over. Feel that side of your torso open. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Doing your best not to lean forward and keep an equal weight on both feet. Let's do two more here. And one more. Great, let's bring your thumbs towards your armpits and we're swimming with our elbows. Up and over, up and over, up and over. And backstroke. Good, and we'll shake that out. All right, and now we're moving into our two-legged hamstring stretch. So. Again, let's bring those feet to about hip width, standing tall with your knees slightly bent. We keep our spine in a line as we hinge at our hips and the weight in our heels. Feel that stretch and stand tall. Let's do it again. Breathing out will help you go a little bit farther. And stand tall. Good, good, good. And let's do two more here. Taking your time, weight in your heels, keeping those knees just slightly bent. Great, let's move into our one-legged hamstring stretch. Kicking the foot out with your heel down, toes up, slight bend in that back knee and move the hips back. Good. Keeping your chin away from your chest will help you keep your spine in line. And let's do two more. And one more. All right, let's move over to the other side. Heel down, toes up, 
Bend that back knee and move the hips back. You can do these seated as well. Same position with the lower body, except your bottom is just sitting in the chair. Keeping your spine in a line as you hinge forward and feeling that stretch along the back of that leg that's out in front. And I've got one more here. Great. Let's move into our open books now. So <clears throat> feet are at least hip width apart. Hands come up, but the shoulders stay down. One hand stays in front and we follow the other hand all the way around with our eyes. Bring it back and do the same on the other side. Take your time. Now, if you feel a little bit unstable with your balance, you're always welcome to hold onto that chair or that countertop and do the same movement. You're just alternating what hand holds on with stability. Relax your shoulders. Let's do two more on each side. Breathing easy, eyes following that hand the whole way around. Equal weight on both feet and standing tall. Good, and we'll shake that out. And then move into our cow and camel. Keeping those feet at hip width, let's start with our cow by squeezing the shoulders back and tilting the pelvis forward. Camel, shoulders forward, tilt the pelvis back. Good, cow, breathe in. Camel, let it out. Cow, open your chest. Camel, pull your belly button to your spine. Cow, camel, cow. Camel, we'll do two more, cow, camel, cow, and camel. Good, and let's shake that out. All right, now we're going into our rhythm step. That's three steps, holding one foot up on that third step for a three count. Yes, this is a balance drill, but we're focused on your body position and making sure that that body position is strong for you to be able to maintain your balance. So if you need to hold on to the chair, then please do. As soon as we start to lose our balance, we begin to lose our focus on what our body position is. So first things first, feet are hip width, toes are forward. We want to think about that string at the top of our head. We pull it tight to lift and lengthen our spine as well as engage our core. Now, focus your eyes on something not moving or the screen looking at me. I'm not going to help you at all here other than just counting. So here we go. Head up, eyes focused, ready, and step. One, two, three, hold, two, three. 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 One, two, three, and hold it. Three, good job. Shake it out. Think about it. How'd you do? I'm willing to bet that you weren't perfect. I wasn't either. And who knows when we will be, but let's do our best to try and work with what we got and do better. So this next time that we do it, let's find something to do better with. Just one thing. One, fo one focus, one thing to focus on. Maybe it's picking your feet up. Maybe it's making sure that your core is engaged. Or maybe it's making sure that you're breathing the whole time. I don't know, you choose something that you wanna work on, one 
specific thing. Good. Here we go. Let's do it a second time. Feet hip width, head up, eyes focused, and we're breathing. Ready? And step. One, two, three, hold, two, three. 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 One, two, three, and hold. Three, good job, shake it out. All right, so I told you that we were gonna shorten up our warm up just a little bit. So that means that we're gonna set the clock to the side, okay? And we're gonna go right into our heel raises. So here we are, keeping those feet at hip width. We're going up to our toes, coming back down. We're going right back up, not rocking back to the heels. And let's be aware and do your best not to break at the hips. Keeping everything nice and long the whole time. Here we go, 10 times, hold for 10 on the last one. Ready, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax and shake that out. <clears throat> Good, let's bring our toes in and heels out, keeping those knees slightly bent. Ready, and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax and shake it out. All right, next we have our toes out and the heels in. Still $2 between those heels though. Here we go. Ready, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax and shake it out, stretch it out. Maybe it's a big step back with your heel on the ground, or maybe it's your toes up against the back of the chair and leaning forward. Whatever you need to do to find that stretch you're looking for. And when you feel like you are sufficiently stretched, let's do it again. So, bringing those feet back to hip width, that's $2 down there. Toes are forward, here we go. Up 10 times, hold for 10 on the last one. This time though, for an extra challenge, Let's go ahead and scan the room from top to bottom, bottom to top. You can use just your eyes or use your whole head for even more of a challenge. Here we go. Ready? And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and hold it, go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good job, shake it out. All right, next, we're gonna bring our left foot slightly forward. Still keeping $2 width, okay? Just going into the staggered stance. We're gonna keep our shoulders over our hips and still with the goal of pulling that string straight up. Here we go. Ready and up. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax and shake that out. All right, last one. Going back to feet hip width, but this time we're bringing our right foot forward. Same thing, up on the toes, back down, going right back up. Ready? And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, shake it out and stretch it out. Big step back or toes against the back of your chair. Whatever you got to do to find that stretch you're looking for. And when you feel like you're sufficiently stretched, we'll have a seat. All right. How are you guys doing? Please let me know. When I ask that question, I know right now I'm asking it to a video camera, but I sincerely am asking it to you. So please give a call or send an email and let me know how you're doing. Sometimes it's just nice to um, just put those words out there and not hold them inside. Um, whether they're not so great things or good things, just to speak those things out loud or writing them down or telling someone else can really um, be beneficial. So let me know how you're doing. I really am interested. And if you'd like me to contact you back, I will. And if not, then I won't. But I hope you are doing well. And if you're not, then please know that we are thinking of you and you are not alone. There's a whole spectrum of feelings and emotions that folks are going through. Um, I probably go through all of them in one day. <laughs> That's just the, the times and the situation that we're living in. But um, I am very grateful to be here at Carol Woods um, and have this Carol Woods family with staff and residents like yourself. So I'm here for you. We are here for you. Let us know how you're doing. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna have this break go a little bit longer while I just explain what we're doing. We are building on what we have been doing in the last couple of weeks. Um, if you have gone to our fitness page, the home exercise tab, and then weekly class recordings, you'll see that we have uh, categorized the classes for each week. So week by week over these last five or six weeks that we've been doing the, these recordings, everything's been categorized. So if this is your first time joining us with this video, Please know that all of the past recordings are still up on Carol Woods Online, still up on YouTube for you to access. So if things that we do today are too advanced or you're not quite comfortable, go back in those recordings and start um, working maybe about three weeks ago so you can build that foundation. Also, you know, if we go into next week and you feel like you're not quite there, come back to this video and keep working and keep practicing. Um, or you could do this twice a day, or you could do this three times a week, or you could do this every day. It's okay, it's good for you. Uh, especially the balance drills, you know, those heel raises that we do, those are things that you can do every day. The clock drill, 
the rhythm step, um, all of the stretches we do. You can do that every day and all of the warm-ups, all of the exercises that we do in this class are beneficial uh, for you maintaining and improving your balance. So the more you do, the better and more benefits you'll see. Uh, it's about consistency and it's about frequency, all right? So feel free to take a step back if you need to. Everything's there on Carol Woods Online, and if you have trouble finding it, just give me a call and I'd be happy to walk you through those steps. All right? So again, today we're building on what we've done last week, shifting our weight to one direction and coming back for a controlled and stable hold on one foot. So we're just adding on a different direction today. But before we get there, let's go ahead and start with our sit to stands and our sit ups building up those lower leg muscles, or excuse me, those lower body muscles and our core strength. Here we go, regular sit-ups. Feet flat on the ground, keeping that spine in a line by pulling that string at the top of our head. And now let's cross our arms across the chest, keeping those shoulders down and back. And we'll do eight today. Ready? Breathe in on the way back. Give a nice strong breath out. Sit tall, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Let's keep our arms across our chest right here. We'll bring your feet, well, I'll bring my feet a bit wider. We want them almost as wide as the chair. Nice and tall, shoulders down. Let's take a big breath in and give a nice forceful breath out as we stand and easy back down. We're doing six of these, of these. Ready? Up. Easy back down. That's two. Weight in the heels, hips back. Three. Four, we pause at the bottom. Squeeze at the top. Five. And six, good work. Let's move into our back extensions for this next one. We bring our hands up, squeeze those shoulders back. Keep your spine in a line. Don't let the shoulder blades come apart. Don't let the hands fall. Here we go. Ready? We hinge forward at our hips, head up, spine in a line. Breathe out, sit tall. That's one. Weight in the heels. Two. Three, four, squeeze those shoulder blades together, five, six, seven, sitting tall, and eight. Good work, shake that out. All right, let's go into some staggered stance, sit to stands. We're bringing one foot forward, the other foot slightly back. We're doing six of these again, right here in this position, not switching feet. Ready, head up, eyes up, big breath in. Breathe out. Good work, keep the weight in your heels, hips back, sit down, that's one. Reach your hips back, two, three, four. Squeezing at the top, easy back down, five. Last one here is six. Very good. So I had my right leg forward for that one. 
We're gonna do another round of sit-ups and we'll bring our left leg forward for the next set. So, so these sit-ups, we're doing our boxer sit-ups. We sit tall and rotate in both directions, all right? Let's go ahead and get started. Hands up, shoulders down. We breathe in as we go back. Nice forceful breath out and we rotate here. One and the other side, one. Good, go back. Sit tall, rotate. Two, two, three, three. Shoulders down, four, four. Good work. Five, five. Turn your head and your shoulders. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Good work. All right, back to those sit to stands. We're bringing the left foot forward this time. Keeping those feet nice and wide. We have six sit to stands here. Ready? Nice and tall, big breath in, breathe out. Easy back down, reach those hips back. Good, that's one. Hips back, weight in the heels. Two. Three. Four. Five, and six, good work. All right, we've got one more set of back extensions and one more set of sit to stands, and then we'll move into those balance drills, all right? Here we go, you heard me right. We're doing back extensions again. Let's pull those shoulders down and back. Let's keep that string tight so our spine is in a line. Brace your core, ready? We hinge forward, weight in the heels. Breathe out, sit tall. That's one. Good. Two, keep that string pulled tight even as we hinge forward. Three. Four. Five, don't let those hands fall. Six, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Seven. And eight, good work, shake it out. All right, so now we're gonna do what I call a power stand. We're gonna go up quickly and down slowly. So the goal is to stand up as fast as you can, but as safe as you can, so we're not we're always looking for control. Don't go too fast and you begin to lose control and lose your balance and stability. Up quickly and safely. And then we'll sit down slowly in a four count, all right? We'll do this six times. Let's stay together. Head up, you can have the hands here on your hips. You can also do the modified version, which is a double chair kick. And down slow. Here we go. Big breath in. Breathe out. Easy down in four, three, two, one. And up. Easy down in four, three, two, two. And up. Head up, chest up, down in four, three, two, three. Up. Weight in the heels, four, three, two, four, two more. Up, down in four, three, two, five, last one. Up, down in four, three, 
two, one. Good work. Breathe, shake it out. All right, so we're gonna be doing our balance drills. Like I said, we're shifting the weight to one side, coming back with a controlled hold on one leg. Because we're adding a new direction, I'm gonna decrease our repetitions a little bit because overall, it'll be an increase in the work that we do because we're adding another direction. Got it? Well, we'll do it together, no worries. So, we're gonna start here with our feet hip width apart, that nice, solid, firm base right below us. Knees should always be slightly bent, and we should feel that string at the top of our head, right? So here, we'll bring our outside leg up, that one that's farthest away from the base of support. We'll bring it up, follow me. Just look at me this first time, okay? We bring it up and take a big step out. We're gonna shift our weight in that direction, bend the knee, and give a strong push to a hold on one leg. And that's one. Okay, so we're gonna do this three times on with each leg, three times with each leg, and then we'll change the direction that we're stepping in. Here we go. Nice and tall, pulling those shoulders down and back. Feet should be hip width apart. Brace your core, and let's go ahead and raise that knee that's farthest away from your base of support. Big step out, shift the weight, bend your knee, strong push, hold. Big step out, shift your weight, bend your knee, keep your chest up, keep your head up. Big push, good hold, big step out. This is our last one, doesn't have to be too big. The farther out you are, the more challenging it's going to be. We shift the weight, bend the knee, big push. Good work. Let's do the same thing on the other side. You might have a counter and you might have to turn away from me, but we're gonna stick with it and do it together. We're doing three on this side, okay? So solid base of support underneath us. Feet are hip width, core is braced. We raise that knee that's farthest from where we're holding. Big step out. Shift the weight, bend your knee. Big push, hold it. Big step out. Shift your weight, bend your knee. Big push. Good hold, big step. Shift the weight. Big push, hold it, and relax. Good job. All right, shake it out. We'll go back to the side that we started on. Okay, so that was a lateral step that we did, a lateral step onto one leg. So now we're gonna do a backward step, okay? A backward step but we're still working on keeping the shoulders over, your, over our hips. Even though we're stepping back, we're not bringing our whole body back. Now how stable does that look? How quickly will I be able to move in this position? How comfortably will I be able to move in this position? Probably not very well. I won't have too much control, right? So shoulders over your hip, equal weight in both feet, and then we bring that knee up for a hold on one leg, okay? So, again, get those feet hip width apart. The leg that's farthest away from your chair or the countertop that you're holding on to. We're gonna take a step back. Toes first. Equal weight in both feet. Shoulders over the hips. Here we go, we're pushing off with that back leg and up, hold it and big step back, good. Here we go, nice and tall, shoulders over the hips, big push with that back leg, hold. 
Big step back, toes down first. And up. And relax, good job. Shake it out. And let's do the same thing on the other side. Here we go, nice and tall, feet are hip width. I'm taking a big step back, but still keeping that hip width distance. Shoulders over the hips, big push, hold it. And big step back, good. Equal weight in your feet, big push, hold. Shoulders level, good. Big step back, one more here. And big push, hold and relax, good job. Shake it out. Now let's go back to the side that we started on. All right, this time we're stepping forward. Forward step, but again, we're not allowing the rest of us to go forward. Mm -mm. Shoulders over the hips, equal weight in both feet. We give a big push and hold on one, all right? We're doing this three times, you can do it. Keep that string tight, keep your core braced and breathe. Here we go, feet are at hip width. We take a big step forward, still keeping your feet at hip width. Head up, push off with that front leg, knee up, hold it. Good, big step forward. Big push with the front leg, hold. Big step forward, good job. One more here, ready? Big push, hold it. And down, good job. Let's do the same on the other side. Here we go. That foot that's farthest away from your chair or the countertop that you're holding onto, we take a big step forward. Here we are, shoulders over the hips, brace your core, ready? Big push, hold. Big step forward. Big push, hold it. Big step forward, good job. Shoulders over the hips, ready? And push. And relax, good job, shake it out. All right, so good job. All right, well, we're gonna, you can do this one more time um, again and just work your way up. I would start with those three with each leg and then do one more round, okay? Next week, we're gonna go even farther. We are gonna try and do some squats and lunges next week. What does that mean? <laughs> it just means that we're gonna flex our knee and our hips a little bit more. So with that lateral step, we step out here, we bend the knee and flex the hips a little bit more and stand tall, okay? So from the front, this is what it looks like. It's that lateral step, I keep my head up, keep my chest up, but my hips still move back. It's just most of the weight is here in that one leg. Stand tall, feet together, all right? Little by little, we're just gonna try to increase and continue to improve and build on what we've been doing. But again, these classes are all recorded. So please continue practicing, continue working on them, all righty? So, that's it for today. Let's go ahead and move into our cool down. So relax your neck and your shoulders. Try to release any tension we might've just created. Pulling that breath all the way down to your belly and filling up your lungs from the bottom up. We'll start with our head rotation. Dropping your chin down to your chest. Moving your ear to your shoulder. Tipping your head up and over, other ear to other shoulder, and drop your chin back down. It's moving nice and easy around. Relax your shoulders. 
and reverse if you haven't already. And head up, eyes up. So open up your arms and give yourself a big hug. Drop your elbows down, drop your chin. And look up. One more time, we'll open up our arms and flip flop, other arm on top, drop your elbows, drop your chin. Relax your shoulders, breathe, breathe, breathe. And look up. Now let's bring a hand behind your head. Other hand reaches for your elbow and we bring it closer. And relax. Other side, hand behind your head. Reach for that elbow. Bring it close. And relax. Let's do that one more time. Flexing your bicep. Keep that bicep flexed and you should feel that stretch a little bit more. And relax. And the other side, flex and stretch. And relax. We'll sit tall, take an arm and reach up and over, opening up that rib cage. And the other side. And the other side. And the other side. And relax. Let's kick up your feet and draw circles going in the same direction. Quality ankle circles. We're looking for you to extend those toes as far as you can and pull them back as much as you can. Making the biggest, bestest circles. And reverse. Good, let's go in opposite directions. And reverse those opposite directions. With one hand, let's dribble the basketball. With the other hand, let's shoot our free throws. <laughs> oh, that was bad. <laughs> Air ball. <laughs> and relax. Let's bring our feet and our knees over to one side of the chair. Feet flat on the ground, knees apart. We bring our hands to the back of our chair and rotate our upper body around. Shoulders down, chin raised. Pull that string tight. And relax. Let's stretch your hip flexor. Bringing this front foot back behind you, pointing your knee down and squeezing those glutes. And relax. One more time on this side. Let's sit tall and rotate. And relax. Now let's stretch your hamstring. Heel on the ground, toes up, and we hinge forward. Get in that hamstring that's right here on the back of your leg. And sit tall. Good. Let's do the same on the other side. Feet flat, knees apart, hands on the back of your chair and rotate. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good. Let's stretch our hip flexor. Knee down, squeezing your glutes. Feeling that stretch right here in the front of that front hip. And relax. One more time, we'll rotate the upper body. And relax. Stretching the hamstring now. Heel down, toes up, and hinging forward. And let's sit tall. All right, I'm coming back to the front. Taking your left hand and putting it behind your back. Look to the right and drop your chin down to your chest.
and look up. Keep looking to the right if you want that extra stretch. Bring your right hand behind your head and everything comes down. And look up. Let's do the same on the other side. That's your right hand behind your back. And you look to the left and drop your chin down to your chest. And look up. Keep looking to the left if you want that extra stretch. Bring your left hand behind your head and everything comes down. And look up. All right, last one. Let's stretch out that hamstring. Stretching out your left leg with your heel down and toes up. Let's pull those toes back and push the heel forward. Sit tall and keep your spine in the line. Let's reach for your thigh. Knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, thigh. Up and again, thigh, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee. Thigh, twice more thigh, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, thigh, last time thigh, knee, calf, past the toes, calf, knee, thigh, and other side. Heel down, toes up, pull the toes, press the heel, reach for your thigh, knee, calf, toes. Calf, knee, thigh, and again, thigh, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, thigh, twice more thigh, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, thigh, last time, thigh, knee, calf, past the toes, back to your calf, knee, thigh, and Let's go. Good job. Thank you for joining me here today. Again, if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, you can comment down below. Previously, those weren't uh, enabled, but now they are. Please let us know how this video went. You feel free to give me a phone call or email me, and please take care of yourself. Bye.